It's very windy out here, so I don't know how this footage will turn out, but we got a little bit of work to do around the farm today. Uh, planted some chestnut trees back last year. Today we're going to try to put a fence around that to keep the goats from eating that. I've been turning the goats out back where they are at, and uh, they're starting to bud out. And uh, Anyway, I don't want the goats to eat them up, so that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to put some, uh, put some just a barrier fence around that and then we're gonna get to work on the other fence. Planted. and you can see those pole that pole right there by flash that's where one of them's planted and uh, we're gonna build a little fence around each of these to keep the goats from eating the uh, shoots off the the new shoots off the trees and uh, protect this so that's what we're gonna do here in a few minutes we're gonna build a little fence around it First tree that we're going to put this around is this one right here. I don't know how, I don't know what the correct distance, but I'm going to put it about four feet. We'll put four posts around it, make a square around it, put a uh, wire field fence around it. Actually, it's not field fence, what I call dog wire. It's what I use for dog pens. That's what I'm going to put around it. But I'm going to put four T post fence posts, some old ones that I had. That's what I'm going to use today.
that you're looking at down there, we're going to uh, make that a wildlife field, plant it for the wildlife. We're going to eventually fence it off for where the goats can't get in there. When we finish this fencing project, that should be fenced in or uh, fenced out, I should say, so the goats can't get in there. And that's where we'll plant stuff for wildlife. We do deer hunting here, so that's what we'll do, plant that for wildlife. Caden's gathering up a little bit of old hay. And there's a little bit. Little bit has finally learned that grass is good. She's down here in the field with us, follows us everywhere. And she's learning to eat. We're still giving her three bottles a day. But she's eating grass, grain, a little bit of hay. So I think she's coming along good. going far in March Madness? Leave your answer in the comment section down below. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray.